following program is from NET, the Public Television Network. Quetzal's Portal Entertainment presents Quentin's Animation Extravaganza, Episode 3, The Invincible Shield. to another swingin' sunny day in Animation Land. Now you may already know that the famous Himitsu Sentai Go Ranger are backing me up in my mission to exterminate the Black Cross Army. But what you don't know is that I have decided to make a manga series in their honor. Unfortunately, I only know two of the Go Rangers, the leader, Tsuyoshi Kaijul, the Red Ranger, and Akira Shinmei, the Blue Ranger. I'll have to gather information on the others, so let's go ahead and do that. Hey, Quentin. Bob. What are you doing here? Well, for some reason I heard you talking about doing the manga series in the Go Ranger's honor. I just so happened to be with a veteran manga creator. This is Shotaro Ishinomori, creator of Cyborg 9. Shotaro Ishinomori? Here in Animation Land? Wow, I just have to say I'm a big fan of Cyborg 9, and I just so happened to have all 98 episodes of Kamen Rider on Blu-ray. Well, somebody's been modeling at my work. Hey, why don't I provide the illustrations for your Go Ranger manga? I could really use a script for each chapter. Oh yes! A thousand times yes! Alright, let's go gather some information on the remaining Go Rangers. Sounds like a plan. Ah, this is a park you haven't seen yet. This is Stroller Park. You can tell it got its name from a line from some old song. This is where animated characters go for rest and relaxation. Plus, they got all this fresh air for out-of-the-box thinking. Hello, you must be Quentin, aka Bowser. That's right, how'd you know? You already know my comrades, Tsuyoshi and Akira. Anyway, I am Daita Oiwa, the Yellow Ranger. Well, that was fast. Anyway, how did you become a Go Ranger? Well, I was training at a dojo with other soldiers at a military base in Kyushu, when suddenly our base was attacked by Bronze Mask and his troops. They killed all my fellow soldiers as well as my commander. I was the only one left, so I came to Eagle Japan's main headquarters, where I met Tsuyoshi and Akira and we moved our location underground to Animation Land. Say, there's a large black sphere in your backpack. What's it doing there? Oh, that's a bomb made by the Black Cross Army. Tsuyoshi and I stole it from the base. What's that noise? Oh my god, is that Bronze Mask? I recognize those bumps on his face anywhere. We gotta warn the other Go Rangers. Come on! Alright, we just gotta find Bronze Mask and... Look! It's the bomb! Somebody's tied to it! Who is she? I can answer that! That's Lucy Love! She's eight years old and she has not yet! She has gothic film written all over her! Well, what are we waiting for? We gotta save her! Transformation! <laughs> you puny teens are no match for my bull staff! Oh yeah? Take this! Okay, I don't need a staff to fight you! I'll destroy you with my blowgun! Easy. Well then, I guess it's time for my last resort. Did Bronze Mask just make a shield appear on his elbow? He must have. And look, he's turning the shield into a bell. Luckily, I have Katana Blade with me. What was that? <laughs> a puny sword won't stand a chance against my bronze bell. Are you kidding me? Not even a scratch? Nothing could stop my bronze bell. <laughs> Bowser, Bubbles, 
Lead this to us and go rescue the girl! Got it! Let's see, how are we going to take out this bomb? Oh? I think I found a solution. Pass me my katana! Got it! I don't know who you are, but thanks a lot! You've got to be kidding me! Not even the Go Rangers did stop that bell! There's only one thing left to do. Go Ranger Storm! Green! Yellow! Blue! Ready? Shoot! Oh my god! It actually destroyed it! Alright guys, let's do it again to finish him off! Well, I've met the Yellow Ranger already! I still have two more Go Rangers left to meet. I'll try to continue gathering information with Shotaro tomorrow. Okay, see you then. This episode was loosely based on an episode of Himitsu Sentai Go Ranger, created by Shotaro Ishinomori, copyright 1975 to 1977. This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment. This is NET, the public television network.